breaking, Obama won't like what they found in Vegas shooter's hotel room. New details have emerged showing that the Las Vegas shooter used a device to help him in his slaughter that was approved by the most recent Democrat president. Investigators found a bump stock device in Stephen Paddock's room, which is a firearm accessory that allowed the shooter's semi-automatic gun to increase its rate of fire closer to the speed of automatic fire. Ironically, this device was approved by the ATF during President Obama's own administration. According to CNS News. Just one and a half years into the Obama administration, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives ended up approving this firearm accessory which allows the user to bump fire a semi automatic rifle, making it shoot faster. Manufactured by a company called Slide Fire, the business had sent this replacement shoulder stock to the Bureau for an evaluation of the device. The ATF responded by saying that they acknowledged, the replacement stock moves back and forth with the gun's recoil, allowing it to fire rapidly and continuously as the trigger repeatedly is bumped into the shooter's finger. A switch allows the user to select semi-automatic fire, one shot for each trigger pull, or the more rapid bump fire. However, the ATF permitted this product to be manufactured and sold, saying, the stock has no automatically functioning mechanical parts or springs and performs no automatic mechanical function when installed. Accordingly, we find that the bump stock is a firearm part and is not regulated as a firearm under the Gun Control Act or the National Firearms Act. Immediately after the Las Vegas shooting, politicians on both sides of the political aisle moved to ban this Obama approved accessory from public consumption. Senator Dianne Feinstein, DCA, said she intends to close what she calls the automatic weapon loophole, something that even a significant number of Republicans are open to doing. According to Briet Bart, Rick Vasquez, the ATF official who signed off on the regulation, described the accessory as a goofy, little doodad, that was for novelty's sake, rather than accuracy. The loss of life that took place on Sunday surely testifies to the inaccuracy of this opinion. Vasquez, who was a former Marine, said that, bump stocks are, for those guys who want to look like super ninjas when they're out on the range, they're the people my peer group makes fun of. If you want a machine gun, join the Marines. However, Vasquez fails to mention that machine guns routinely cost anywhere from $15,000 and up and require an expensive and difficult to obtain federal weapons license, whereas a bump stock can be bought for as little as $200 making it the perfect tool for those looking to mimic the rate of automatic rifle fire while avoiding these obstacles and saving their money. It's ironic that Obama, who was one of the most anti-Second Amendment presidents in the nation's history, had nothing to say about this dangerous device entering the hands of the general public. Senator John Cornyn, RTX, is one of many Republicans expressing a mixed opinion on these devices saying, it seems like it's an obvious area we ought to explore and see if it's something Congress needs to act on. Despite trying his best to control gun crime, Obama's failure to ban this little accessory goes to show that those with sinister intentions will always find a way to be one step ahead of any gun control laws that are implemented.